Hello everyone, bonjour, bonsoir, welcome back to No Break November. Um, so I did some braids on my short hair um, and I filmed it. So here it is. So pretty much what I'm going to do first is I am going to shave down my sides and I'm just parting it out to help me, um, give me a guide as to where to cut. And I'm not going to worry about getting it perfect right now. It's just to give me a guide of where to braid, where not to braid, and have a certain um, line to work with. Not going for perfection here at all. What I'm really trying to do is, is just give myself a guide. Now what I just did with that gel with the parts is just apply gel to the part and that helps you clean the part better because the gel picks up the hair. Okay, so now that is done. I'm adding some Cantu right here. Cantu is my best friend. I'm adding some Cantu um, and then I'm going to part and braid the shortest part of my hair first. So yes, I'm gonna braid that. Although I can grip that without doing anything extra, I'm going to give it a little more support um, to not have so much of the braid weight on that little piece of hair. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna take some of my braiding hair here. It This is the brand that I'm using. Um, and I take a thin piece and I cut it because I want it to be short. The hair is 26 inches. Um, I'll, I'll add the brand in the video. I'm sure you guys didn't see it that quickly. Um, so I'm pretty much braiding the short piece with just a little short piece from the braiding hair. And the trick to braiding short hair is to keep braiding even though you feel like you're not braiding anything. Just keep braiding and you'll start feeling the braid form as long as you keep reinforcing that grip for each section of the little short hair, you're going to grip it. So once I'm able to grip it with this hair and braid it down, after that I'm going to add the braiding hair as if I never did this, as if my hair was long enough to braid. So this is pretty much an anchor and support for the braiding hair. So the braid is not just pulling at this little tiny piece because the braid is going to be 26 inches. And I'm doing it like such, like I was braiding my own hair. All right, and that's all there is to it. I know it looks tight, but that is only because my hair is fine. I don't have that many follicles, so that's why it looks like that. But as you can see, it can move, it's mobile, it can do things. I can put it up, I can put it down, and it doesn't hurt. So it's not as tight as it looks. I'm super tender-headed, so that's a no-go if it was tight. And I did the, the braid on top of it the same way because that hair was still kind of short too but when I got to these parts here my hair is a little longer because my hair was faded up and I'm able to braid these without having to add any type of support and I'm just leaving hair out for me to clean up when I go back through later on um, my sides aren't perfect but I'm gonna go back through and clean them up after I braid I think the trick to braiding short hair, especially short afro hair, is keeping that frizz tucked into the braiding hair. And that was really my challenge during this. 
but because I'm doing my hair really quickly and then I'm not gonna leave this in long at all um I wasn't too much worried about that I was trying to my best to make sure it's not too much frizz because if it is too much frizz there's no point in even having your hair braided because it looks terrible but um the way I do that is I try to tuck the afro hair behind or my natural afro hair behind the braiding hair as I braid and please forgive my facial expressions it is really late at night I started braiding my hair at 9 I ended at midnight my eyes are turning red and I have natural resting B face so definitely disregard my facial expressions um, I'm not a mean person I'm some uh, some people are intimidated by my facial expressions but I'm super super nice um, I'm just tired but I wanted to get these braids in before I travel. So now that I've given myself a guideline, I've done the sides all the way down from the front to the back. Now I'm gonna do the middle part and just focus on that because I've done the sides. And as you, I'm just showing you guys, once again, not tight at all, because I couldn't really handle that in the first place. So yeah, now you could, I could go up from the bottom to the front or the back to the front, but because I want a middle part, um, I'm going to do my middle part first and then section off my hair and then continue braiding. Um, I stopped right here on each side. I made sure I got enough to where it would um, cover my 
shave sides because I'm right after this I'm going somewhere really cold and I want to have the option to cover my sides without a hat and all of that good stuff and that's it that's this is me showing you guys how long the hair actually is I trimmed the straight ends and these are pretty much the styles I can do with it probably more but these are the few that I'll probably do and this is me just oiling my scalp before I take a steamy shower to help it seep in. And this is the next morning. You guys know how Zomami sleep. The next morning, like I said, I'm going to a place very, 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 very cold. So I could not really just leave my sides out like this, like I wanted to. Either one of these styles. So I ended up just using my middle part and covering up the sides. Um, now, if you guys want to know which cold, very cold place I'm going to, make sure you are subscribed to my vlog channel. I will surely be vlogging it. Um, if you're not subscribed already, go to DX Hawaiian Vlogs and you guys can subscribe there. Also, since I just gave you guys a hint, guess in the comments below where you think I'm going. Thank you for watching me braid my short hair and see you guys in another video. Bye guys!